Two weeks after the deadly mass shooting in Round Rock, a 4th of July celebration planned at Old Settlers Park. Frontier Days will include live music, games, and fireworks. This Independence Day party comes after two people were killed and 14 injured during the Juneteenth Festival. CBS Austin's Betty Cross is live tonight at Round Rock Police Headquarters. And Betty, this ongoing investigation has some people worried about going to this celebration at the park. Round Rock police say there could be additional charges filed against more suspects. But even though the investigation is still underway, that 4th of July celebration is set to go off as planned. And doing a thing. Clara Anthony feels safe trying to hook a few fish at this pond in Old Settlers Park. But the mass shooting at the park two weeks ago is still top of mind. A friend of mine called me asked me to meet her out there. And she was standing right close by where the shooting was, but she didn't get hit. Clara says daytime activities here are fine, but she won't be watching the late night fireworks on the 4th of July. I'm gonna wait this and out and see how this can go. Maybe next year or so I'll come on out and see, but after the last shooting, just have my own, he won't come. I know, it does It's too much. This was the scene after a fight between two groups broke out at the Juneteenth celebration at Old Settlers Park. Two women were killed and 14 other people injured. 17-year-old Ricky Thompson of Maynard was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Days later, a male juvenile suspect was also taken into custody. You just got to be very careful when you go out nowadays. Frank Manglona knows violent crime can happen anywhere, but he hates seeing it at a place the community comes to have fun with their families. There's going to be a lot of people on edge. How many stay away from Thursday's celebration remains to be seen, but Frank says the deadly shooting won't make him break his tradition of watching the free fireworks. It doesn't scare me off from coming out and enjoying the beautiful park here in Round Rock. Now, some people have criticized Round Rock police for not having enough officers at that Juneteenth celebration. And exactly how police plan to staff the all-day 4th of July celebration has not been revealed. We may hear more about that later this week. Reporting live in Round Rock, Betty Cross, CBS Austin News.